Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our Moon in the Sixth House in the Samsung Chart video. And I know, I just kind of forgot in the last two, three weeks. Like, oh, I'm supposed to be doing Moon in the Sixth House in the Samsung show. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he just wanted me to delay this due to Mercury retrograde. So, Moon in the Sixth House of your the Samsung Chart. And the Samsung chart, as you know, is a chart that represents the obligation to society that you have in this life. It represents the detail-oriented avenue of your career. And if you do not know, if you have this particular moon, you know, what sign it's in and all the other astrological details for that, check out the links here. Check out my full astrological report, including my books, consultations, and link to my academy, Mahabhatik Astrology Academy, where I'm currently teaching Mahadashas. And just understanding like Vimshotri Mahadasha. Okay? So... Moon in the sixth house. Well, one of the things you will notice with moon in the sixth house is that this person is extremely meticulous about everything where to a point that it can drive them a little bit crazy. They are very detail oriented. They get a bit of OCD about their work. And their mind is always, okay, occupied in the tasks of the work. See, mind is not occupied about money. Like, oh my God. Will I get a promotion? Will I get this? You know, will will my work like my uh, will my you know job like my work and then give me a promotion? Though no, their whole mindset is, I gotta get this done. I gotta finish this. It's like everything becomes this mission. Everything becomes this like a uh, competitive task within themselves. Like I have to finish this, and if they go home with an unfinished work, they do not like it. Okay, they don't like that. And the other thing we also see is that this person uh, tends to sometimes overspend at work. That's one of the things that they deal with is like, how do I control my spending at work? And also they deal with, you know, some hidden agendas. You know, it's like, like background, backstage working. Um, the thing is this person, the they try to be secretive about certain work that they're trying to do, certain certain things that they were trying to do, but they always like, it always gets exposed and comes out. Not in terms of like scandal, it's just terms of like, you know, if they have a great idea and they want to keep it hidden and they want to like implement that in their work, it'll always just like come out. And yes, there will be some struggle when they go to foreign lands or in trying to go to foreign lands. Like that, especially for work, not in terms of like, you know, going to foreign lands for vacation, going to foreign lands for some, you know, education, but for work, that ability to just go to foreign lands does become a bit of a work, but they do, you know, I've seen people who go to foreign lands and they have this particular position, but yes, in terms of work, they always have to deal with certain obstacles before they can get that granted uh, permission to go to a foreign place. Then the other thing we also see is that usually this person works well behind working behind the scenes. They like to be those people who are not really mentioned, who are, it's like they don't want to be mentioned because they just want to do the work. They don't want to get caught up in the fame and office politics. Because you got to understand one thing now, okay? It's like it's being reversed. And we're literally watching that transition of reverse as we see is that people now, the less fame you have, the less known you are, the better you do in work and society. The more you are known, the more you're in an extremely vulnerable position. So as much as you're like, oh, I want fame in my work. I want to be known at work. Well, then now, now it becomes very easy to be targeted from all direction. The more discreet you are, the more, just like, you know, those one of those regular normal employees at a big corporation, let's say like Tesla or, you know, like Apple. We only know Apple with Tim Cook and maybe like one or two other people, right? And then there are those people who are all over social media and they're working for, you know, uh, Apple. Um, and then there are those people that you will never hear about that are extremely wealthy working in Apple. They're just doing their work. They're not on social media. That's this particular moon's position. This moon simply just wants to work. 
and they don't they don't want to be known. They when they work, that's their fame, that's their little universe that they have. Okay. So anyway, guys, this is my analysis of uh, Moon in the Sixth House of your the Psalms at Chart. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below so you don't miss this type of video. If you want to know where your moon is placed, all the astrological details, check out the links here. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.